Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in Wellington. I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you tonight. I have some hot tea. I love tea, especially in the winter time. I'm kind of obsessed in my Santa mug because that's the time of year it is. I did decorate for Christmas just a little early. I, not even a whole week before Thanksgiving. All right, let's get into this haul. I don't have a ton of stuff. I don't know what's happening at my stores. I feel like they're drying up a little bit or they just aren't getting their stock out because they're understaffed. I'm not sure, but I'll show you what I was able to find this week. And I got some wrapping stuff and just some other things. I grabbed these bags, these treat bags. They're in the party section. I pack my lunch in these when I go um, work football or something, but I was thinking if you were doing an advent situation for your kids or family, you could use bags like this and it's the red and white stripe. And I think these are a little bigger than the holiday bags. So depending on what you want to put in them, these would be fine for that. And for me, I use them to pack my lunch. And this is a no order. I just found this. It is a six pack of wood planks. And I'm gonna say, if I had to guess, this is basswood. And it's four and a half by four and a half by 11 point, or uh, I'm sorry, four and a half inches by four and a half inches. I'm not sure how thick it is. But yeah, it's always good to have on hand. I use this a lot when I'm crafting for stands mostly, like to glue things too. And I was out of the square. And so, you know, you see stuff like that, you pick it up. Um, I do not need gift wrap. However, I bought some gift bags. <gasps> Can you just tell me this is not to die for? I, I really just want to frame this little bag. And the metallic car, I love it. And the teal, it's so pretty. The back is not metallic. And then the other two bags are some snowmen two different bags of snow people. Cause so I think that's a snow couple. And I think these are a snow couple too. But I loved it. I bought it for this bag, I'm not gonna lie. And if I can figure out a frame to put this in or make a frame, it might happen. I went, I pulled up all my gift wrapping stuff yesterday, took it upstairs. And um, I'm just trying to use up what I have, stop buying new, but you'll see it didn't really work. Um, I found, these pot holders, and if you can see the sparkle, that matched the dishes. And I actually got the dinner plate, the salad plate, the bowl, and the glasses. I didn't need the wine glasses or the mugs. I have plenty of mugs, but, um, and I got these. And I love using these, not for hot pad holders because you will burn yourself, but they actually work fine for trivets. Like on my counter, if I'm gonna put a pan or something, I maybe will stack two or one, just depending, and use it as a trivet to put like a warm pan on if I'm gonna put it on my table. So I like to have matching ones of those. So I grabbed those. We've got bags of stuff here, guys. Um, oh, I did find the elf little like clay ornament. The weirdest thing is when I go into my store, they have, they have all the standards that they have all the time. And then I'll see one new ornament, one. Today was two when I went. I saw two new ornaments. I didn't buy the other one. This one was not it. It's in a different haul. But anyway, I have a tree in my office that I'm going to put this on. I'll have to show you when it's decorated. I'm just buying here and there. Um, I found these signs, and unfortunately, this one got bent. But it's okay. I can take it apart. Um, but this one here says, Friends, the life's greatest blessings, which is the truth. And then this one says home is where the heart is. But I will probably at some point craft these a little differently. I'm kind of over this, um, whatever this metal is. I will take that off so it doesn't break off. And that's how easy they come off. But the um, tin or whatever it is, metal. But these could be fun. Stacked to make a larger sign. You could go that way with it, or you could put words. I mean, there's a million things you can do. These are nice. They have good bones, you know. It's a nice, solid frame. Could also flip it inside out, paint on the inside, if you didn't want to deal with the outside. But I liked it because it already had the grooves, and I wouldn't even have to fake paint them. 
So that's just for my saw, my stash of crafty stuff. And then I got this and we're gonna see what it is. It's a dry, I mean, I know what it is. I don't know how big it is. It's a dry erase planner. So I thought I would open it up. My hope, oh, maybe we won't be opening it up. I need scissors, I think. My hope is that it would fit on a clipboard. And if it won't actually fit on the clipboard, I also feel like I could cut it to fit on a clipboard so that I could do my notes and all my stuff. Oh, and I just broke it. Well, okay. So just as a, an FYI, this tape that they have on it is terrible. I don't even know if these are really any good um, as far as dry rate. I'm trying to get the tape. Oh, there we go. As far as dry erase goes, but I'm probably going to cut this anyway, so I'm not mad that it broke. I'm just wondering if it'll even unroll, too. So it's just a weekly planner, and I was kind of hoping that the back would be dry erase as well. So we'll see. I'm going to have to lay it under some books. But I also got the to-do list, the big one that is not curled up like this. So I will put this in the bag and I will see what I can do with that. Um, I got packing tape because, fun fact. So I ordered a lot of stuff for Christmas. Oh, there's Alex. He came to join us in Wellington. I got him both. Oh, he loves the fireplace. Um, packing tape. So I order a lot of stuff. One year, my mom ordered me a present from Kohl's on probably Black Friday, and it sat here until probably January before I took it out of the box. I opened it, I knew what it was, but I didn't take it out of the package. I think it was one of those three crock pots. And by the time I opened it, it, was, it had been broken in delivery, and I didn't know. And so it was too late to return it. Not the end of the world. But I have a tendency now when I'm ordering stuff that I open the box, even if I'm going to wrap it in the box, because I just want to make sure if there's any damage or anything that I take care of it before I gift it. So I bought some of this to repackage. And trust me, my family is well aware of what I do because they know I'm, I'm special sometimes. I'm going this way. I have more stuff to reach. I've been finding food. I mean, I'm going to say this is food because to me it is, but I grabbed some more pepperoni sticks. I think I bought six of them. And then I bought some more meat and cheese sticks. These are fantastic for me um, for snacks when I'm traveling or out and about. Throw them in my purse and it's a quick protein source for me. So I try to keep stocked on those. I just buy, you know, a few at a time and keep them in my cabinet with my snacky snacks. And then if I need something, I know where to get it. Now, we got some peanuts chapstick. And it sure is candy cane. And I really couldn't decide if I wanted Frosty or if I wanted Snoopy. They were both candy cane. But we're going to try this because this is for me. I am obsessed with peppermint chapstick stuff. Mount lip balm. Lip balm. I already have two... Burt's Bees in the candy cane, and I have a couple tubes going of the um, Chapstick brand. Um, it does have a Santa hat on it, in case you need to know, but it does come off. I just think that's fantastic. I may be hot gluing the Santa hat on here, or on my other one. I, I might. I smell mint. Okay. Smooth. There's a sweetness to it. But I don't know if there's a mintness to it. It's not bad. And I think kids will like it because you won't get the tingle. Uh, but this Santa hat is so getting glued onto something. It's not bad. This would be good for nighttime. I'll put it on my, on my nightstand because that's what I do. Oh, more tape. Told you I'm a little crazy. Don't worry. My people know. All right. I picked up three of these snowflakes ornaments for my mantle behind me. 
Um, if you see where the black garland is, that's beads. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang these on the black beads or if I'm going to wait and I'm making for winter time a snowball garland and I may just hang these from the snowball garland. Three of them, one in the middle and one on each end because they are pretty heavy. I will say that. So I think one in the middle will be sufficient and they're large. And what I liked about them is that they are two-sided. So it doesn't matter if they spin because there's something on both sides. I almost got the blue and then I thought the blue was a little, a little much for me. And it wasn't really navy. And plus I have a blue mantle. So I'm going to go with these and I'm just going to um, hang them for the winter time. Okay. Hi, sir. Hi, can I help you? Thanks. That's Alex. Um, I picked up another one of these little fidget popper things, but this is a bracelet. And I'm not opening these because I think I'm going to gift them to a little person that I know that will enjoy these. The two small ones. So this one actually is a bracelet. They can wear it around their wrist and have the little popping little snappy thingies right on their hand and the other one is just a little two one so i thought these would be fantastic for any young people that maybe you know they need a fidget and this is a, a wristband fidgeter and i thought that was perfect so i got it it is a sensory popper bracelet i don't know the brand because it's tiny i think it's this or orb toys so I grabbed one of these and one of those, and that's plenty because I only have the one child that I think would appreciate that. Um, I finally did find these little bows, and I only grabbed one pack of each. If you haven't found them yet, the they feel like, you know the big ones with the rubber? It's the same thing. They have the plastic on the back. So definitely these will be, I think, be perfectly fine for outdoors or on like a string garland or on something that you really want them to stand the test of time because they are, um, they're sturdy. You know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna collapse on you. So I have six of this one and six of the red and black and I thought that was plenty for me. Okay, for my kitchen that I'm doing in gingerbread, I found these like gingerbread cutouts and I think I'm gonna stick them right on my refrigerator because doesn't that look fun? I feel like it does, and I love the Santa and the candies and the snowflakes, but they're all colored like gingerbread. So these are gonna go in my kitchen on the refrigerator. That's easy. Um, I did buy a gift bag. Do I need gift bags? No, I think we just covered that, but I mean, come on. Look at his little nose. And it's Santa and a snow person and a reindeer. They're adorable. And on the side, it's just like a red, it's a very light red plaid, like red on red plaid. Um, what I am using these bags for, so side story, cause you know I'm full of that. I am going, my niece and I are, um, we rented a Christmas cabin this year. And on Christmas Eve, her, bro, her dad, my brother and wife and other brother are coming up to our cabin and we're going to celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas day, her mom and stepdad and brother are coming down and spending Christmas day with us. So, um, there's going to be a lot of people in and out. So what I'm doing with these larger bags that I tossed over there is gifts for people like families or people person i will individually wrap and then put in these bags so i don't forget things so i'm trying to get a couple larger bags for each family if that makes sense so that's the plan with those bags although i did go today and i have other bags under my tree already set up so i just needed one or two more i'm not worried about it but i will warn you that the Dollar Tree, like they're, mine are running out of bags and stuff already. And I don't see them restocking gift wrap and all that. So if there's something that you want, I would pick it up right away. Um, I found some more of these shirts. This is the Gilded Marian. These are t-shirt hoodies. And look at this fun color. Um, it's a little thinner. I think this would be perfect for spring or fall, but I love the long sleeves and they're pretty long in the torso that I could wear these with um, like leggings or even joggers or something. So I grabbed them in this color green, which I love. And also I can crick it on the front of, and then I got it in this color blue with this neon -y color string. And if you don't like the strings, take them out. Who ties their hood anyway? But, um, 
I loved this like bluey purple color. And these are Gilded, Gildan brand. Um, this is an adult 2X. And I tried it on. Yeah, they're a little thin. Um, so like I said, it's not going to be for warmth, but they're certainly cute. So I grabbed two because why, why wouldn't I? You know, they're a dollar. Oh, I will show you the gift wrap. Do I need gift wrap? No. Do I need Grinch gift wrap? Absolutely. Do I need some Grinch gift wrap? I am obsessed with the Grinch, guys. I love the Grinch. I love the movie. It's my favorite. I don't care what the rendition is. They're all my favorite. So I grabbed two. Um, I probably won't open them this year because I am trying to go through some of the stuff I have in my basement, which I don't have a lot, maybe like five or six rolls, but this I'll just put away because it's the Grinch. Uh, I love the Grinch. I love the Grinch. I love Christmas. Can't help it guys. Can't help it. Okay. Two more bags. I don't have a ton left. Um, I tried the Nine Lives meaty pate. This one is beef. I opened the chicken. So, Wellington is such a fussy eater. He's also my old man. He's 15, 14, 14 now. He'll be 15. He's 14. And he is a terrible eater and he's losing weight and I'm just freaked out. Then add to that, the only food I could get him to eat, the wet food, Sheba, is hard to find. Now I'm good for right now. I found some on Amazon. I ordered some from Amazon Chewy and I found some at Target. So I'm good, but I bought to try a theory that I had that actually worked. He wasn't happy about it, but he ate it, is I took some of this pate, I warmed it up with hot water. I always add water to their food to get more moisture. I added some catnip and some of his crunchy treats that he loves. Because on the day that he doesn't feel like eating breakfast or lunch or dinner, I put crunchy treats on it, just a couple, and he'll eat it then. And he ate it. So I was very happy that if I have to find another brand, he's good. So I just keep this. But, you know, there's, I don't even think there's an expiration on these things, is there? Uh, this is good by June 7th of 2023. I'll feed it to him. They'll eat it. I'm glad you, you're all glad you heard that, right? Um, I also may have gotten a scarf. Now, it's for Luna, the dog. She'll wear it. Well, she won't like it either, but the, uh, I'm just taking a half. Come here, Alex. Let's see if he'll come to me. Alex, you come here. Alex. I'm going to see if he'll put it on. Come here. Hi. I know. He's like, you're doing something to me. Hi. Ooh. Come here. <laughs> Come here. All right. Not there. I'm trying to get him to put it on. Here. It's Velcro. I don't even have to go over your little head. It's Velcro, guys. Tell me this is not stinking adorable. So let's see if I can get him to put it on. Come here. Hi, come here. We'll pet you. He doesn't trust me now. Come here. All right, come here. <laughs> I know. I'm a mean mom. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> He's not going to put it on. All right, I'll get it on him at some point, but not today, because now he's mad at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. It's hysterical when I get him dressed. Anyway, either he will wear it or I'll put it on Luna Dog, but it needed to come home with me, and it sort of matches, this side matches our Christmas pajamas. <laughs> not that the boys will be with us for Christmas, but I will come home. The cabin's only like 30 to 40 minutes away, so I'll drive home and feed them and make sure they're taken care of during the day. But anyway, I got the scarf. He'll get it on eventually. Um, I got some floss picks. Dental health people, it's important. So I grabbed these. Um, I don't know if these were as good as the plackers. We're going to find out. They were out of the plackers. So we'll see how good they are. 
Um, I'm sure they're fine. It's a 60 pack, so. Although I do enjoy the mint flavored ones. I don't know, I don't think these are mint. Oh, with Floridex thread. I don't know what that means. Uh, do they have fluoride on the thread? No idea. But I use Floridex toothpaste. It's expensive as all get out. Um, oh, one more of those. Oh, I got this brand. So I go back and forth. It doesn't really matter to me which one. The Trail Best is 1.2 ounces. They're the same. And the Jack Links are 1.2. I think they're pretty much, they have the same except for the trail best has more carbohydrates in it so they must have some added something i don't know so there's that i need them when i need them they're a snack oh i got a new notepad i've been doing really good if you haven't noticed with the notebooks but this one just says everything possible with coffee because it's true that's for me i could throw it in sarah's stocking we'll see maybe all right I've been blabbing away here, guys. All right, the last thing I picked up, and I got several of these, some for Sarah and for me, but these are glue, paper crafting glue. Now, Boss Tick is a brand, so this is name brand. This is multi-purpose adhesive for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric, and it's a pen. So on this one, it, um, oh, I think they both have dual applicators, so a thicker and a thinner line. And then this one is fine and white. Oh, and this is clear. So this is like white glue and this is clear glue. So I grabbed one of each. We both do paper crafting. I am putting together a box of journal stuff for her. And so I will just throw these in the box with her stuff. And they're both double-ended. So you have a, a thicker and a thinner. And this stuff is great if you're crafting. So I grabbed her set. And apparently I grabbed extra sets. I don't know. So I have a bunch of glue. However, I'm out of glue, so this will be great. Right, right. All right, guys, I think that is everything I purchased for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, please like, subscribe. Thank you for watching to the end. I very much appreciate it. And I will talk with you later, and so will they. Night.